what's going down, Commanders? A few things you might have missed with uh, yesterday's downtime. Everyone probably knows that we've got the elite, uh, legendary Vanquishers getting to level 20, blah, blah, blah. But probably what you might have missed, or some people might have missed, is the Pegasus is going to Elite 20. Which, if you have a look, it gives it a massive, massive stat buff. Uh, basically goes from 17,500 health to 277,500, by the looks of it. Bear with me. And the range got increases by 100, 100 so 550. And also the DPS goes up by 55, 56,000 per shot, I believe. Hang on, per shot is 3,500. Oh, that, that's before, that's before the increase. And this will go out live next Thursday or Friday. I don't know what day uh, holdout drops. But this is the only thing you've got to get. Uh, there's also a tech coming out with holdout as well. This is when the unit will drop as well to uh, get the elite parts in the holdout, I believe. Uh, where is it? You'll also get a gold tech to go with it. Which is a uh, Olympic Guardian. Increases clip size to two. Gains a splash. Increases movement speed. Increases range. So one plus one clip size. Adds a large splash radius. I don't, no one knows what large splash radius means with kick size. Um... 100% to movement speed. I believe the movement speed was 7. So 100% of that is 1.4. Or 0 0.7, sorry. So that would be 1.4. I will go check that, recheck it. And plus another 50 range, bringing it up to 600 range. I just want to check these. So reload speed. Uh, that is more damage. Increases 6% in kills. So yeah. It, 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 it don't... I don't know why the clip size, it's a, a machine gun, unless we get a, a second gun, which it has got there, I don't understand why it's cl the clip size has been increased by one. Uh, so it might be worth getting a Pegasus, I'll tell you what, let's have a quick look, yeah I can do a Pegasus base quick, and if you've got, if you're lucky enough, if they're still on the map that is, if you're lucky enough to have got, are they still on the map? I should have found one beforehand. The defensive uniques, are they on the map still? I can't see any. Maybe they removed them from the map. They was on the map yesterday. I maybe should have made the video yesterday. Yeah, it looks like they've been removed. Well, next time they drop, if you haven't got it, it's pretty easy to get. Just uh, Pegasus. Oh no. Proteus, and uh, if you've got level 20 f uh, Pathfinders, drop them into the base free repair. And then moving on from that, we've also got coming in the holdout again a Mega Sarkis is coming. So as you can see, it goes to 21. Not a great. Uh, well, it is 68. 68 is quite a big chunk. A little bit more damage for level 21. I don't know the how long they expect us to upgrade this for. So it could be a, a two-day upgrade. It could be a seven-day. It could be a five-day. I don't know. Really don't know. Same with the, but the Pegasus should be two days still if it's going by the other units. Depending on how greedy kicks I get, like they have with the uh, Vanquisher. And you also can pick up. A new tech for the Sarkis, which I'm kind of intrigued with this one. So, based on damage taken, Sarkis gains double movement speed and spawns a clone. Spawns a clone. Clone is high priority and leaves smoke cloud when it dies. So, that, that is the buff. And basically, Sarkis gains 100% bonus movement speed after health dropping below 75%. I don't like units that have to do this, but... He is a predominantly PvP unit, so he might come in handy. Uh, again, he, he gets another 100% bonus movement speed after health drops to 50. And then Sarkis gains again another 100% bonus to movement speed after the unit drops below 25%. But you, look, by the looks of it, you get a high priority clone as well. I don't know if you get one on every... We, we'll have to find that out when we get the tech. But things to look out for... Um, if you're lucky like me and, and got some of these units to the, the level 
max level, you're good to go. If you haven't, maybe think about it. I always say this to people, um, always prioritise the the base units, the, the event units that we pick up, because that's what you're going to need to move on to the next event. If you're lucky like me and you've got a lot of things upgraded, you can maybe put one or two levels onto the, the new unit. Pegasus, uh, uh, the Pegasus is another one that I'm... I'm in two minds about, uh, basically it's, it does look good on paper, and you get that movement, uh, movement speed increase goes to 1.4, but uh, yeah, I'm not too sure about that, uh, again it's going to be, it bring, bring it back into the battle at least, and you can uh, decide whether to put levels on it or not, it should only be a two day upgrade. Per level, it should. If I it just go in by the old uh, defensive uniques when they got their this, uh, let's have a look if I got one that I can upgrade. I think they're all maxed. Yeah, they're all maxed. I can't uh, show you, but I'm 99 percent sure it was two days. Kicks are getting greedy just lately. They think they can keep throwing days on on stuff that don't need to have days on it. But it is what it is. We've got to play the game how, how they put it out basically. Other than that, guys, um, have a great day. Um, just trying to get a little bit of information out to you guys before you, it comes around and you, you by that time you think, fuck me, I, I ain't even thought it through. Um, yeah, it, we, we, we'll have all the information next Wednesday, Thursday, something like that, when they drop the actual patch notes for the holdout itself. So we will get a, a little run through on the stats, that, that they're, or max stats at least, that they're going to put out. Anyway, ta-da.